What's up guys? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Gonna wait a few minutes again to let it let you guys know I'm on. On and popping. Let me know when you jump on. Say hi. Let me know you're here. Let me know you're watching where you're watching from. Yes, I'm drinking water again because it's a challenge for me. I don't drink enough. Hi, Kelsey. You guys say hi. It's jumping on. Let me know you're here. Where are you watching from? What are you up to today? We're just waiting for people to get notified to jump on before I dive into this. What's up, what's up, what's up? Coming at you with some more foodies today. I know I did a live yesterday and several of you jumped on and were like, I need some more food help, just ideas. Everybody's in the house. You got more time to cook at home. You should be cooking at home more anyway. Um, so today is kind of like, you could do it for lunch, you could do it for dinner. I know somebody was asking for all of those meals. Um, and it's just a healthier version. And it is called Big Mac in a Bowl. So everybody probably knows what a Big Mac is and what it consists of. So this is basically the unburgered version of it because it's just good. So um, I actually have already, the burger patties cooked, everything's done, cut up, ready to go so I can just whip through this with you guys. Um, saying hi, so everybody jumps on, say hi, say hi, say hi. Let me know you heard. Okay, so to make it, let me go through the ingredients that you need. Hi, Leslie. We are making Big Mac in a bowl. So take the bread out, sub it for some extra lettuce, right? We're doing the unburger version. So I've already got my baby spring mix. What up, Jordan? What up, Alex? Um, baby spring mix is in the bowl, ready to go. And I've already chopped up you can use beef, you can use turkey, whatever you prefer. What's up, Ashley? Uh, thanks. thanks. All right, so I got my meat already cut up and diced. Again, you can use beef, you can use turkey. I mean, burgers typically, you know what? Your preference. This is beef, <laughs> so I've already diced it up. We grilled burgers um, the other night. And so this is the last bit of leftovers. And so I decided to do it like this. Give you guys another idea. And it just sounded good to me. So I've topped my greens with the diced up, chopped up hamburger patty. Now I've also diced up some pickle, a little bit extra because I like pickles. Boom. I'm going to break down all the ingredients for you guys here in just a second. All right. And then I sauteed, or we had sauteed onions from... Bunless burger night. We eat real burgers too. Don't get me twisted. I like real burgers too, but like the whole thing, like the, the bun and everything, the bun, the cheese, all that. But sometimes I like, maybe I want to have all the chips instead of the bread or whatever, or a big ass dessert because I don't skimp on dessert. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I topped it all with the sauteed onions and the last two items are just the dressing and the cheese. So if you're writing this down, taking notes, you wanna put it on the grocery list, you wanna make it later this week, you need, well, your choice of lettuce, but I use baby spring mix, got it, greens, okay? Um, your hamburger patty, beef, turkey, whatever you prefer, vegan. Um, dice that up, put it on top, sliced pickles, dill pickles, and then sauteed onions, optional. Now, I just went ahead and made kind of my own homemade Thousand Island dressing. All it is is mayo, ketchup, and um, relish, sweet relish, which, yes, if you didn't know, that's basically what Thousand Island dressing is, right? You drizzle a little bit of that on top. And the last thing, of course, duh, you have to have cheese. Or if you're my vegan friend, you can try um, a dairy alternative, so Daya or something like that. Uh, I still haven't found a dairy-free cheese that I love yet, so bam. All right, so I literally just layered it all up, and all I'm going to do is stir it around in this pretty little bowl 
But that's it. It's super easy. The you know that's something you can prep in advance. So if you are making the patties in advance, you're grilling out, or you know we just did it on the stove because all of our amenities around here in the apartments are closed, which means no pool, no grilling at the pool, anything like that. So what's up, you guys? Um, what else? Big mac in a bowl. Went through all of it. If you missed it, go back watch the ingredients. But just mix it up and then enjoy. I would like dive in and take a bite, but like I don't like. I personally. <laughs> don't watch or like to hear people chewing. So for those of you who are like me, <laughs> I will um, not torture you. But let me know any other questions you have, any other recommendations, or not recommendations, um, questions you have of things that you need help with. Um, Emily, I made Big Mac in a, in a bowl, basically. Um, it was just greens, the meat, cheese, sauteed onions, dill pickles, and the Thousand Island dressing that I made here at home. What, what did I, what did I miss, Jordan? I'm like, why do I wanna take a bite? Oh. <laughs> well, here you go. Here you go. Here, here you go. Just kidding. All right, guys. Well, I hope that was helpful again for you today. That one was super, super simple and easy, just like the chicken salad was yesterday. If you missed it, go back and watch that. I'm also going to be uploading these to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get that, that up and running. I haven't posted nearly enough over there in a very long time. So that way they can all kind of be saved and live over there on YouTube because obviously eventually they'll get lost in this feed. So if you don't follow me over there, you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, um, I can make that, I don't, because I honestly don't remember <laughs> what the link even is or the username for it. I think it's just Lead and Squad Fit. I will put that email or that username and link to my YouTube channel in the comments. But that's it. So dinner, lunch, make a big bulk. Like you make a big bowl of it. If you wanted to just like pre-make all of it in advance so you just have a big bowl of, um, big mac in a bowl salad like to last year you might not want to put the dressing on yet but you can literally put everything else in there ready to go if you are somebody who is still working or just want something quick to easy quick and easy to grab at home if you're working from home or you've got you know a bunch of kids to juggle or whatever or just make it and eat it on the spot so i'm gonna dive into it because i'm hungry and we're trying to get outside for just a little bit before it gets dark and a team call and all the things but i wanted to come live with you guys and share that Hope it was helpful. Hope you're having a good day. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Anybody else lost in quarantine land? Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a good night. Bye.